Hi and welcome to another one of my tips and tricks videos. In this video I'm going to show you how I use blue to create more realistic shadows uh, rather than using black, gray, or dark brown. Uh, in a lot of cases, especially when using white, you need to use blue to create a shadow. Uh, I did that a lot in this painting that I'm working on. Uh, this is a painting I'm doing for a show that's coming up of a deer and I just wanted to show you how I use blue in certain areas to create these shadows. So I'm going to zoom in and explain a little more in detail. Okay, I've zoomed in so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not finished up here in the ears, I'm still doing a lot of detail work um, in the fur, but as you can see, I used a bluish color to create the shadow um, and the little grooves or shadows in between uh, the fur or the hairs. Um, a lot of times people might end up using black or brown um, or just a dark gray color sometimes and sometimes that can work but a lot of times with white you want to use uh, a bluish color to create depth and texture. Um, since blue is a cool color in most cases uh, it will recede into the background and your brighter colors will stand out more. So you'll create more contrast with a blue color, um, even more than, say, black or brown. So I'm going to continue with creating the shadows up here in the ear, and I'm just going to show you what I mean. Uh, I've mixed some phthalo blue, which is, I used the greenish shade of phthalo blue, and I mixed a little cadmium red to create a purplish blue color. Uh, and it does kind of look like a gray, but it has a bluish tint to it. So it creates a cool color and it recedes into the background. And when you're doing this, it's good to do washes of color. Uh, I like to thin the, the paint out a lot with water and just do light washes when I'm creating a shadow. So that way it's not too overpowering and you can create layer after layer to make it darker if you need it. Um, you start out with a lighter color and then just continue adding thin layers of paint to create a nice shadow. In other instances that I use blue are on the back of the ear. Uh, instead of painting this black or a dark brown color, I used um, some phthalo blue mixed with cerulean blue. And I just kind of outlined the back right here of this ear with that blue color. Same goes with in between all these little hairs. I used a phthalo blue wash. So I just thinned out some phthalo blue and basically just made some dash marks after I had already created these warm colors. So the warm colors really stand out and the blue colors recede, creating texture and depth in the painting. Uh, a lot of times black is really flat, so it neither creates, um, it's not warm or cold really, so it just kind of sits in this neutral plane, whereas blue recedes and warm colors stand out, you get more of a 3D effect. So that's why I use blue rather than black. You can use gray, but you want to tint it with a blue color, or if you're trying to create um, texture that's standing out, you can make gray a warm color too. Uh, but I'll talk about that maybe in a future tips and tricks video. And you can also use the blue color in portraits. Um, the skin is a nice warm color usually, so the blue would create uh, nice dark points or parts that are in shadow or receded like under the eye socket or beside the nose. So uh, if you have any questions, you can email me at tim at timgonier.com. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.